YouTube, this is Vargas XX78 uh, from the Vargas Vault, and um, I wanted to share with you guys a very special video. I wanted to record a Tales from the Vargas Vault, which is a video series that unfortunately I haven't uh, updated that much. Um, I got the day off from work, and uh, my wife's at work, and my daughter's sleeping, so I have time to record a bunch of videos, hopefully. I just finished recording a pickup video. I have two more pickup videos left to do, but this particular thing uh, I wanted to separate and do its own uh, Vargas Volt, uh, Tales from the Vargas Volt video because it merits it. Uh, for this particular item, I do have to take you back uh, to something that I shared way back when in one of my earlier videos, and that's how I got into comic books. Now, um, I don't think I've ever shared this before uh, because it's it, it's it's something that's very hard for me to acknowledge and share, but uh, it's important to this. Now, uh, when I was in secundaria, uh, which is like high school, uh, it's not high school. It's I, I I apologize to all my American viewers. I don't know how the educational system quite works over there. Um, but secondary, secondary school, I think it's kind of like high school. Um, anyway, uh, I was a very sickly uh, kind of kid during that period of time. Uh, I was really skinny. Uh, I suffered from headaches. Uh, I fainted a lot. And uh, I developed asthma. And it's something that I still have throughout my life. Um, my adult life. I, I have asthma. I, uh, you know, if, it's, if, it's, if I get a bad cold, it acts up. If I'm around cigarettes, it, it acts up, and uh, you know when the Santa Ana winds pick up, pick up, it's it affects my allergies and, and my asthma. So um, I was an easy target for uh, being picked on. I was I was bullied quite a bit, and this is something I don't think I've shared again. Um, but I, I was bullied really really bad. Uh, it was a tough tough period uh, in my life, and. Um, it's taken me a, a couple of years to, you know, get over that. Uh, I still, I know I seem suave and confident and, you know, stuff like that. But uh, I do have lapses of, of uh, self-confidence issues. And um, it's, it's something that I, I carry with me. Uh, I, I, uh, it, it got really bad. The, the bullying uh, got really bad. And one of the things that, uh, thankfully kept me sane uh, during that period was comic books. Uh, comic books mean the world to me because uh, as someone that was bullied, um, comic books were my way of escaping that. You know, um, it was a coping mechanism. A lot of people uh, might have that. You know, you might have your music or uh, movies. Uh, or stuff like that, but for the longest time, comic books uh, were my escapism. Um, firstly, comic books, then video games. Video games also helped a lot. Um, it was one of the things that that I could talk with people because a lot of video games were were big. But comic books always felt like my personal thing. They were they were my method of coping with with being bullied and. Uh, like I said, the, bu the bullying got, got really hard, um, and, and it definitely left a, an impact on me. Uh, but comic books, uh, reading about these larger-than-life characters, uh, always, always helped me. Um, I always, as a kid, you know, um, early teenager, it, it, it got me through a lot of tough times. So, I've had uh, discussions with, with my parents, uh, with friends, with my wife, that I should I should give up comic books and and not buy comic books at all because um, they take up too much space and you know uh, with the price of comic books going up it it, it hurts the wallet but uh, they've they honestly helped me through so much garbage that I've had in my life that um, I, I I can drop a couple of series and I've done so. But to flat out just give up on comic books, it's it's it it's very hard because they, they they helped me. They helped me a lot. They were, like I said, my coping mechanism. And uh, I got into collecting comic books around 1992. Um, 
Let me remember, I got out of school during a particular, uh, particularly bad day, and uh, I was making my way uh, home, and I uh, passed through a pharmacy, and um, I I went in the pharmacy. Uh, I got a, a soda, and uh, I was looking at the magazines, uh, and there in the magazine rack, I saw something that I never seen before. Never thought I would ever see, honestly. And it was uh, the first issue of Batman vs. Predator. Uh, that, that blew my mind. I was like, holy crap, uh, Batman, who's like my favorite character, against a Predator who Arnold fought. I was like, Phew! mind blown. Uh, so I, I, I got my money together, I, I bought the issue, and uh, that's what started uh, me collecting comic books and using comic books as a means to cope with uh, with being bullied and having my self-esteem uh, crushed uh, really bad. Um, it's a lot easier for me to talk about this now, but if <laughs> uh, I started YouTube uh, eight years ago, and even then you might have seen that I was a little nervous, but uh, even before that, if you would have talked to me years ago. I it would have been really hard to get anything out of me. It would have been impossible for me to stand in front of a camera and record stuff and post it on YouTube. <laughs> Even to this day, I still feel that my videos are are garbage and that nobody watches them and and nobody cares. But uh, I still enjoy it, so that's why I keep doing it. But yeah, if you would have met me years and years ago, I. I was a blank slate. I, I just was one of the many people. I, I never did anything to stand out or or such. But uh, yeah, Batman vs Predator was got was is it's a combination between Batman vs Predator, which still is like so amazing. It's my all time favorite comic book because uh, the artwork by Andy Kubert was mind blowing to me at the time. And again, seeing Batman, my favorite DC character, fight against the Predator. Which was this this badass alien that Arnold Schwarzenegger had trouble taking out? I was like amazed by it. And uh, Batman vs Predator is the first comic book that got me hooked into collecting comic books, uh, combined again with the with the bullying and everything. Uh, but way before then, all years and years before that, uh, what got me hooked into Batman specifically? was a set that I might have mentioned before in one of my other earlier videos, but that's been like nine years ago. Um, when I was in primary school, um, I tried to excel as best as I could to get good grades. And uh, it's something that I, I wanted to do um, for two reasons. One, because I, I wanted to uh, make my parents proud of me. Um, you know, I, 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 I it didn't feel like I excelled at anything else. I wasn't good at sports, I wasn't good at, you know, other stuff, and uh, good grades was the only thing that I felt I could do to make my parents proud, and uh, they took note of that, and, uh, you know, whenever the semester would end and I, I would get good grades, uh, they would try to get me a, uh, a reward, a, a present. Uh, the most things that I, I, I would ask for are the He-Man toys, uh, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Uh, I had a, um, a bunch of He-Man toys because I, I really, really liked uh, the He-Man series, and then the the Ninja Turtles. That came out, but um, I remember that we went. Uh, you know, I got good grades, and uh, we went to a Toys R Us, and uh, I was going through the He-Man figures, but there's more than anything that I, I particularly wanted that day. And uh, we went out to the uh, to the cashiers, and in the cashiers, they had uh, comic book racks, and they had these really old uh, three pack uh, comic book uh, sets. You know, you would buy you would buy a uh, one of those packs, and it would have three comic books. And I was like, "Wow, that's that's comic books. What's what's that? I I, I don't know what that is." So um, I asked particularly for one that at I remember, um, my memories aren't very reliable at my old age, but I remember that my parents at first were like, eh, I don't know, don't you want, don't you want a toy? That, that particular comic book looks kind of, eh. 
But I was like, no, I, I want it. I'm intrigued by the cover, and it's and it's um, it was it was a Batman comic book. It was a set of three Batman comic books: uh, Batman uh, 397, uh, 398, and 399. And uh, the cover was a very very interesting. <laughs> um, and so I read that, and because my my first introduction to Batman was. The uh, the old Batman TV show with Adam West and Burt Ward and Cesar Romero, uh, and uh, uh, that was my first introduction to Batman. I was like, that's kind of weird. Even as a kid, I thought that that's that's kind of ridiculous. Uh, the only reason I watched it is because Catwoman was there, and I've always had a thing for Catwoman, specifically because of that uh, Adam West TV show. Uh, and, uh, that, that was the Batman I knew, but all of a sudden I went to that Toys R Us and I saw those comic books and I saw that, um, that Batman comic book and I was like, holy crap, that Batman comic book looks cool. Uh, I want it. I, I don't want figures. And again, my parents were like, but it's comic books. It's just a piece of paper. Don't you want an actual action figure? And I'm like, no, no, no. I, I want that Batman comic book. And, uh, they picked it up and it, like I said, it had those three issues and uh, the artwork was cool. It was a different Batman than what I saw on the TV. Uh, it was it was a dark Batman. It, it, the, the artwork was really impressive and the covers were really cool. And uh, I read and reread and uh, read again those comic books and they were just so cool. But uh, next semester when I got good grades, I wanted to pick up more Batman comic books and they didn't. They had a uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3-pack, which I asked for that. Uh, but it didn't compare to the Batman comic books. And those those three comic books were like, just blew my little mind away. And um, I've been trying to get those comic books back. Because, of course, uh, as it happens, uh, I read through those comic books so much that, that I basically wore them out. And uh, eventually, one day I came back from school, and my, my mom threw it out because they were... They were pretty much falling apart, and they were just being stuck together through some tape that I, that I put on them. Uh, the collecting value of, of those comic books was zero, but the uh, sentimental value was really cool. Uh, it was really high for me, and, uh, and I, it, it pains me to know that those comic books uh, got thrown to the trash. And I've been trying to get them, but uh, old Batman comic books in my neck of the woods uh, has been really hard to get. The only book I've gotten is Batman 397. So I haven't been able to get the other two. I, so yeah, I, I just haven't come across them. Uh, in the 10 years I went to Comic Con and at all the comic book stores, uh, the oldest comic books they have is from 450 to forward. Uh, so it's always been a personal kink of mine that I, I don't own the comic books that pretty much forged my love my love for Batman. Uh, Batman is my favorite, all-time favorite DC character. Uh, he's like the best of the best uh, in DC. Um, I love the movies. I, I love the animated series. I love anything that has to do with Batman. And again, Catwoman is my favorite villainess. Um, because uh, as a kid, uh, I was like... Superman was always the cooler superhero because, you know, he had all the superpowers and, uh, you know, Christopher Reeve was freaking amazing as Superman. So, you know, uh, he was always the cooler superhero to me because he had superpowers. You know, he was bulletproof. Nothing could hurt him. But Batman, even more so than Peter Parker, um, who I met much, much later, but he was, he was like, he was human, you know. If I ever got a mountain of cash, I'd, I'd be Batman. I would invest millions on on technological stuff and create a bat suit and stuff. Well, not right now because I'm old and you know things hurt that didn't hurt before. But no, he's a relatable character because he's human and uh, he uses his mind and his wits to outsmart and outclass anyone. So. So Batman's always been my favorite character, and it's very fitting that I got hooked to Batman because of those three comic books, and it was Batman, again, that saved me during that uh, really tough uh, period of my life uh, when I was bullied. 
So, um, I owe a lot to comic books, and I owe a lot specifically to Batman. So, the point of all this rambling is that I went to a, a, a flea market, uh, I got the day off, went to a flea market, and I was browsing around, and this lady had a bunch of random stuff, and I was going through some boxes, and lo and behold, I found something that I never in my wildest dreams thought that I would ever find, especially in the way that I found it. And that is the original package that I got when I was a kid. It's a 225 value for kids of all ages, which is not that true because of the cover. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it has a shrunken head with a, a severed head with an axe that's been stitched. This 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 is not a the kind of cover that and this is the cover that you know I remember freaking my parents out because they they were like the what the f why did the hell do you want that that comic book look at it it's got a severed head and it looks weird but I was like I I it's Batman but it, it's it I mean it's Batman because uh, again I remember seeing it from the uh, Adam West show but it's it's it has a, a head I'm like. I, I was intrigued by this, and and I, I just wanted it. And it also, I remember the, the 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 cardboard here thing had a couple of cards, and it says here eight free uh, trading cards, and uh, your favorite heroes three consecutive issues. Uh, it's actually oh, my memory failed me yet again. <laughs> uh, it it's actually three ninety seven, three ninety eight, and three ninety nine. Uh, and I have 399. I think actually I might have 397. But uh, yeah, I was like, oh my god, I, I don't believe it. I can't believe that this random lady at the flea market has the 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 same exact package that I bought that my parents bought for me at that Toys R Us. The ones that blew my mind, and I, I'm like. Oh my god, she probably wants a lot of money, because these comic books came out in 86, but I I, I got them at 87. Um, I'm like, oh my god, uh, I was I was excited and nervous at the same time. I was like, this lady's gonna, probably going to want a fortune for them. So uh, I, I, I grabbed a bunch of stuff, this one particularly. Uh, she had a Spider-Man graphic novel. Uh, one of those, it wasn't a graphic novel, I'm sorry, it was a trade. Uh, uh, a trade and uh, some video games. So she overpriced the trade. She overpriced the video games, and this one I got for a buck fifty. I was like, "Hell yeah! Here, here, take my money!" <laughs> and uh, I, I, I walked away with the same package that got me hooked into Batman, and I'm like. Oh my god, I can't, I, I never in my wildest dreams that I think, ever, that I would find the same original package, just like I remembered it, uh, ever. I mean, I, I've, I've looked for the comic books, because they have a lot of sentimental value. Like I said, I know I have three ninety nine. I'm not sure I have three ninety seven, and the one that's inside here is three ninety eight. Um, but I'm like... Oh my God! I, I have to have this, and and I got it cheap. And again, this this cover is what blew my mind. This 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 cover is what like blew my mind at, at how honestly it's what I I I'm going to say got me into horror because this 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 is a horror cover. Any way you cut it, this this is a horrifying cover. Then you got Two Face here. Um, I I also like this cover, and the one inside. Uh, has Batman fighting Two Face and uh, with Catwoman, and I remember I remember uh, 397 and 398 because it was a Two Face story. Uh, Two Face was trying to get a artifact that would uh, alter him, and uh, this lady with a golden mask was helping him. And then, uh, but Batman was going through some uh, romantic issues with Catwoman, and uh, she decided to leave Gotham. And, uh, because she had a new partner, it was this big-ass panther. And then this one, uh, this, this, the, the one with its severed head, 
uh, it was a, a, a crazy guy that was killing people, and Batman had to stop him. And uh, I reread these stories so much, so again, it, I, I, I can't explain what it feels like to find something that's such a part of your childhood that defined who you are. It's like if I went to a flea market and, and found another copy of that Batman vs. Predator, that, that I would buy it because I, even though I already have it, I would still buy it because it's part of my my being. Uh, and I, I, I don't know if this makes sense to you guys, but uh, this, this, this is my... I've been lucky enough to find a lot of really cool stuff at the flea markets and the swap meets and everything at Comic-Con when I, would, I w was able to go, but... Nothing compares to this. This is by far the best because it, it's a part of it's a part of me. It's it's something that got me into Batman, and then later got me into comic books because Batman. I only picked up that Batman vs. Predator because it was Batman. It's it was this Batman, and uh, it saved me. Honestly, I I, I I always say this to my wife: comic books saved me. Uh, it kept me sane through all those years so so yeah this this is a big part of who I am it's a big part of my collection <laughs> the only thing I am debating is whether or not to open this bad boy honestly my instinct is to open it up well uh, I would open it uh, like at the bottom so I could get out the comic books and uh, keep keep the, the everything and read the comic books because I'm I'm not into collecting comic books because of, uh, of any monetary value. At Comic Con, I would go into the 50, 25 cent bins and buy like twenty dollars worth of beat up comic books because I wanted to read the stories. I don't I don't care about the value. I, I care about the story. So part of me wants to open this bad boy up and read the stories, and the other part of me uh, wants to keep it as is. And when my daughter's old enough, give it to her, so she can read Batman the same way that I read Batman. And uh, so, yeah, I I'm debating that. So, if you guys can leave a suggestion on what I should do, if I should open them up and put them on on bags with boards and keep them safe, or keep them sealed. And uh, when my daughter is old enough, give it to her. And pass on the love of Batman. Got choked up there for a moment. <laughs> but yeah, just wanted to share this this epic, awesome find. And share uh, the story of why Batman is so important to me. And why comic books are so important to me and my life. Uh, so yeah, that, that got e emotional really quick. <laughs> um, oh, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I don't think I've ever opened up at that as much as right now but uh, this this I feel this merited and uh, yeah I hope I hope this is an enjoyable video even though it's just me talking for 20 minutes about something that I love and it's comic books and it's Batman and it's it's what makes me me so I I hope to hear from you I honestly honestly want you guys to give me a suggestion what I should do Open this bad boy up and uh, keep the comic book safe after reading them once, twice, thrice, or leave this closed and inherit it to my daughter so she can have the same experience that I did. Hope to hear from you guys. So that was a Tales from the Vargas Vault video. I will actually upload this video first before the other pickup videos, but Thanks so much for watching, guys, and until I see you all again, this is Vargas XX78, signing out.